We got some brand new spy photos of the new Bronco. This is clearly the body on frame version. There's a couple of really interesting things about this. Let's talk about it. My name is Eric and I make videos on future cars and trucks. If that kind of stuff is interesting to you, hey, consider subscribing. Let's build this community together to 100K. This is clearly the body on frame version. The, the not the baby Bronco, I don't think, the daddy Bronco, I'm not sure what to call it. The body on frame version. You can see this frame rail down here below. It also has this very chunky, aggressive look. The windshield is fairly upright and the whole thing is quite angular, very much like the old school Bronco, but there's a lot of camo on here and we're gonna talk about what it might be hiding. The headlights I think are really interesting and I've actually been personally fascinated by the headlights. I think the renders look super cool. And so here for the first time, they appear to be turned on. Now I don't know if the camo is different or they just turned on the headlights, but you can see it has this halo light, the sort of outer ring. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of BMW. And then it has this horizontal strip, which is uh, on the inside in the grill. Comparing with this leaked photo that we've got of allegedly the headlight unit, putting this up next to the spy shots, we can definitely see some pretty strong similarities. We've got the halo, and then we do have this horizontal strip off to the right here. However, on the spy photo, at least to my mind, it looks like this horizontal piece is a little bit farther away from the headlight than on the, uh, the headlight unit shot that we're seeing. In fact, it looks significantly farther away and it looks a little bit more like the, the piece that we see, saw on the Bronco R, the race version, a couple of weeks ago. Comparing it with a couple of the renders, looking at the car scoops render here, which I think looks super nice. Again, we don't know if it's gonna be a little different between the uh, the body on frame Bronco and the baby Bronco. It seems to be pretty similar, pretty much online. The render has a longer horizontal strip. And this render from Bucked Up Off-Road, thank you for that. He's got his version of the headlights too. And by the way, on Instagram, hit me up on Instagram if you've got renders of the Bronco. I definitely wanna see them. I'll definitely feature them in this video. Even if they're not yours and you got some good links, just let me know. Now, the other thing that I noticed is that in the center of the spy shot, we have this black piece that looks like it might be a cover. I don't think that's really an LED, so they might be sort of hiding the headlights with this cover piece. Maybe it's an LED. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but the sort of the general shape of the thing is similar to the renders. It looks similar to the leaked headlight piece, but again, I'm not sure if there might be a difference between the off-road and the, you know, the baby Bronco version. I do really like it though. It definitely harkens back to the original Bronco, which I think has the most classic styling of all of them. And I'm hoping and guessing that Ford is going to bring that classic style back and update it. Now we've seen mostly four door versions sort of running around in the spy shots, but I think there's a lot of interest in the two door version. If you're gonna buy, or even if you're not, let me know down below what version you would get. Are you into the two-door or the four-door? There seems to be a lot of interest in the two-door, but Ford seems to be kind of holding it back from us. Come on, Ford, we, we wanna see this thing real soon. Now, the camo that we're seeing is not just a wrap. I think there's a lot of styrofoam underneath this here. If you look at the roof, for example, and I do think that this has got the removable roof because we do have a completely different uh, camo color that's black on the roof. It's got some puffiness to it up here. I think they're hiding the shape of the roof. And speaking of puffiness, the front fenders on this car are pretty interesting to me. These look like some pretty big fender flares. And in fact, it has a really aggressive look. The flares are quite big in the front, a little bit less so in the back. And we've got the doors which are sort of pulled in, giving it a neat sort of waistline. It has a little bit of a sports car look. I like the big aggressive fender flares. I hope that they bring this to market. I hope it's not just a bunch of foam. But what's interesting is that these huge fenders seem to be have a lot of space for some pretty big wheels. So we get to see the tires for the first time up close here. These are Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT. Not the most exciting tire in the world, but what is interesting is the size. So these are LT31570R17. So I looked these up to see how big they actually are. 
and the diameter is about 34.5 inches. I think they might be considered a 35 in some circles, and the width is 12.7 inches. So what's really interesting is that this is the same tire size as the Raptor. And what else is just like the Raptor is the wheels. So looking at these Raptor wheels and then comparing it to the wheels on this spy photo, I see a big similarity, and that is a decorative ring. Now it's not just any old decorative ring. You can see these bolts here, I think are for a beadlock setup. Now the beadlock ring is not DOT approved for street use. And if you wanna get a beadlock ring, you need to buy it aftermarket from Ford. And obviously it's got a lot more bolts on it here, but we've got the 12 bolts here on the, in the camo car. And then we have these uh, wheels off of the Raptor. So I think these wheels are beadlock wheels and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to fit a beadlock ring onto them. That's pretty cool. This is definitely talking about, this is speaking to the, the off-road capabilities and specs of the Bronco. Now we've got some more off-road stuff here too. I've been looking at this lower, this frame rail and it could be two things and I've got a theory on that. It could be hiding an electric running board that kind of pops out or what I hope and I think is actually more likely, at least from this shot, is that it is a rock slider. So what's a rock slider? So here's an aftermarket version of a rock slider. Basically, if you get hung up on a rock, you can slide your vehicle down over the rock and not mess up your chassis. This looks to be something kind of similar here. Again, let me know your comments down below if you think this is a rock slider. If it is, that would be a pretty cool option. Maybe it's not an option. Maybe it is just part of the base package. That would be pretty exciting too. Now on to power. I've seen a lot of rumors. There's been a lot of talk. This is gonna have the 3.5 liter. So I'm not too convinced of that. And I think the best evidence that we're probably gonna end up at least initially with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost is this post from Bozy Tatarovich. He's a journalist at Jalopnik. He's also got his own website. And he did an analysis of the Bronco R, the off-road vehicle that we saw in a video. He compares the engine in the Bronco R to an engine that he saw on eBay, which is the 2.7 liter, and it has three things in common. The casting marks, which I think are super important, the oil cooler, and this bracket. So if we do get the 2.7 liter EcoBoost as the, the upgraded engine we're looking at, at least in current versions of this engine, about 325 horsepower and about 400 pounds-feet of torque. That's actually a fair bit of torque. That's what you want for off-roading torque rules. Torque is king. I think it'd be pretty exciting to see this engine and it is lighter than the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Maybe we'll see that in a future Raptor. I'm not so convinced we're gonna see it here because this is a Bronco. It is a, a lighter, uh, off-road capable vehicle. So I think weight has a bit of a factor to it. There isn't a whole lot of spy photography of the two-door version. However, Jeep did release a couple days ago this off-road montage of the Jeep going across the desert in the two-door version. This is really one of the few examples that we can see of it. It does look pretty short. It looks pretty aggressive. Obviously this test mule has got heavy camo on it. It looks a little bit like a Dodge Durango with the camo, believe me, it's not gonna look anything like that when it's finally released. One thing that I think is really significant is that the wheelbase is really pushed out very, very far. So we've got the wheels very close to the front fenders. We've got them really close to the rear bumper and that short overhang is really ideal for off-roading. You're gonna have a really good angle of attack. You're not gonna be able to get your, your bumper or your rear, your front or rear bumper sort of hung up on a rock or a surface, something like that. So that's really, I think one of the main elements that Ford has been focusing on is to really stretch out that wheelbase as long as it can possibly go on the size of the frame. Also, they probably wanna keep the cost down at least initially too, but hey, we're gonna see. And speaking of cost, where is this going to be priced? So the biggest competitor obviously is the Jeep Wrangler. It starts at about $30,000, $28,000. Their website's a little cagey. When you click on it, you start at 28 and all of a sudden you go up to 30. But that vehicle in the base trim has a 3.6 liter V6, makes 285 horsepower and 260 pounds-feet of torque. So 
I think Ford is gonna come in with very similar pricing to this. Obviously with the Jeep, you can get it way up into the 50s. My guess is with the Bronco, with all the options available, you'll be able to get it up there as well too. There are two videos up on screen right now. One of them is probably on the Bronco. My name is Eric. It would be awesome if you wanna subscribe and build this community. See you in the next video.